The Fool could be doing with an Aries or Aquarius. And Temperance Reverse could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck is Ace of Coins. That's two Aces in this reading with the Fool. But there's fear holding us back. We're not grounding ourselves. That's what I'm getting. And I feel like where you're not grounding yourself is because you're just, I feel like you're single at this time, for sure. Not just because I see the nine of coins, but because I feel like you're just waiting for love to come find you. Like you're, you're not balancing out your life. It's like you're, you're waiting to live your life until this new love comes around. And that's not how it should be. You should be living your life. And then when love comes around, great, you know, it shouldn't be something that you put your life on hold for. So let's get some clarifiers, see what's going on. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Clarify the Page of Swords, please. Four of Wands. So, yeah, definitely, like, you got marriage on the mind, but you don't even have, like, a potential partner, really. You may have people in mind, but they're not with you. Tell me about the hanging man. Clarify the hanging man. Two of cups. Waiting for that relationship to happen. Waiting for a connection. Tell me about the ace of cups. The magician. Trying to manifest that new love. This is a pretty straightforward reading for you, Leo. Tell me about the priestess. The devil. To be a Capricorn in your environment, but... Ooh, with strength at the bottom of the deck. So, I feel like you have a little bit of codependency issues here. And that's what's toxic. That's why the devil's here. That's why there's fear here. Like, you're afraid that you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. What's this fear? Three of Swords and the Lovers could be dealing with a Gemini, but you're fearing heartbreak. You're fearing that you're never going to find your divine partner, that you're never going to find your, I don't want to say true love, but I mean, I, I feel like that sounds super cliche, but I feel like you feel like you're fearing that you're never going to find your life partner, that you're never going to have marriage and stability. Tell me about the fool. Nine of coins. It was reversed though, so that can be codependency. And eight of swords reversed. So a little bit of confidence issues right now that's keeping you codependent. Um, I feel like when it's confidence issues that's keeping you single, then you're not going to find true love until you start being confident with yourself, until you start showing yourself the love. Nobody's going to show you love until you show them how to love you. So it's time to start loving yourself, Leo, but easier said than done, I know, but... I didn't say anything. Tell me about temperance. So faith could be dealing with a Taurus, but you could be having trouble healing over past relationships or this could be that you need to balance how often you think about your want 
to be in a committed relationship. You know, there's more than life. There's more to life than just love. And I feel like before love even comes in for you, you need to work on your insecurities and you also need to start balancing out the rest of your life. Every aspect of your life. So let's get you some final advice. Pretty straightforward read. Final advice for Leo for May 9th through the 16th, 2019. The green triplets. Uh, Pisces also had this, by the way. I just read it for them, so I know this is about leaning on your friends. But I'll read it out of the book for you. It's about realizing that you're never alone. Yeah, the divination is you are not alone. There is no need to feel so isolated. You have got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. Even when they are not there bodily, they know, know they are with you in mind and heart. Need an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, perhaps a pep talk to cheer you on. You know who to turn to, so don't be hesitant to reach out. So... You have people in your environment who can help you through this difficult time. And um, I feel like that might be the aspect of your life that you need to balance out. Maybe you're forgetting about your friends, not spending too much time with them. And before love comes in, you need to work on your insecurities. And you need to balance out every aspect of your life. Truth and clarity is coming Most definitely. After a period of feeling defeated and feeling like everything was chaotic and like your whole world got flipped upside down. Truth and clarity is coming. You could be meditating a lot. And that's what's bringing this clarity for you. Or somebody could be coming in offering you that clarity. Hold on, let me click out of this. So let's get some clarifiers and see what's going on. Tell me about the six of orbs. Why is the six of orbs here? Not going to take these, but I'm going to look at them. We got the Sun, King of Wands, Three of Coins, Ton of Swords, Strength, and Eight of Wands. So, a whole lot of Leo energy coming through. And right in the middle of these cards is the Ton of Swords. So, this is clarity. This is clarity about betrayals that have happened to you. Let's see. Tell me about the Six of Orbs, please. Why is the Six of Orbs here? Ace of Swords. So. I feel like you... <coughs> Either in the recent past or in the distant past, you caught somebody, <coughs> excuse me, my throat chakra is opening. <clears throat> and right before I, when I was pre-shuffling, my third eye was opening. So this is going to be a really deep message for you, Leos. In the past, you cut somebody out of your life, not because you didn't love them or because you didn't want to keep trying, but because you felt like you needed to, to get yourself to a better place because whatever this, whoever this person was to you, it was just too chaotic to you. It was creating so much turmoil in your life that for your own sanity and for your, own peace, you had to cut this person out. Tell me about the five of orbs. Okay. 
Clark out of the five of orbs for Leo, please. So we have Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, Two of Cups, King of Swords, Page of Swords. And the Three of Wands underneath. I feel like you were waiting for somebody to come back around, for somebody to come bring you this clarity. You were, you were waiting for someone to give you closure. That's what it was. You were waiting for someone to come back around and give you closure and it never came. So you found that closure on your own. Tell me about the Five of Orbs. And I feel like this Five of Orbs reverse is saying, like, you didn't even want to, like, get even with this person. You didn't want to, like, you didn't even care if they got theirs. You just, for your sake, wanted to move on and give yourself closure and get yourself to a peaceful place. Tell me about the five of orbs, please. King of Wands. So, this person pro possibly cheated on you. You have the tower at the bottom of the deck. This person possibly cheated on you. There was possibly a lot of passion here. You were very... You were... Like, you burned for this person, almost. But, they betrayed you in some way. They didn't give you the clarity. They didn't give you the closure that you needed. You probably waited for a long time for this closure. And it never came around, so you gave it to yourself. Tell me about the Ten of Crystals. Clarify the Ten of Crystals, please, for Leo. Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Because normally I see the Page of Swords as somebody spying or, you know, gossip. But I don't feel that way. So let's just see. Tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Eight of Swords Reverse. You, you saw a future with this person at one point. You, you felt like this was your life partner. This was who you're going to marry. This was, you know your whole world, but because they moved on and never gave you closure, you decided to find that on your own. And because of that, you're no longer feeling restricted, no longer feeling trapped, no longer feeling like your whole life is a mess. You're starting to feel whole again on your own. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So you're starting to go after your happy, starting to realize that happiness is something within yourself, not something that you seek in others. And for the longest time, you probably sought it out in this person. Tell me about the seeker of chalices. Page of wands. So we got two pages here, one that's about love and one that's about passion. With the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you're, you're giving that love and that passion to yourself. You're probably 
you know, practicing a lot of self-love, doing, you know, self-love affirmations, probably doing like mirror magic, um, trying to find something that you're passionate about in life that doesn't relate to a person. And tell me about the page of wands. Let's see. Four of Swords. And you're finding a lot of healing within that. You have Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Ugh. Which I don't like, usually. But... Okay, so this person definitely betrayed you. And you're starting to heal from the past. You're starting to heal from what happened to you. And you're starting to love yourself more. You're starting to find a new passion for life. You've given yourself closure from this that wasn't, wasn't given to you from the other person. Tell me about strength. Yep. Queen of Wands. Oh, man. And Faith. So, it could be dealing with the Taurus, but I feel like you're finding your confidence again. You're standing in your power again. You're having faith in yourself again. Um, working through your insecurities. Um, you have the devil at the bottom of the deck, so working through your your toxic past, working through your own toxic behavior, which was, you know, seeking happiness through others. Tell me about the Ace of Orbs. Clarify the Ace of Orbs, please. Oops. Five of Swords, Seven of Coins. I feel like this is this other person's energy. Like the seven of coins is you. This is like your pride. You're like, you're proud of how far you've come. And now this other person is like realizing that you're letting go. That you no longer feel the need to have this person in your life. And they're feeling defeated almost like. The Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. They feel like like they're not good enough anymore. Like they're getting their karma now. For the longest time, they made you feel like you weren't good enough. Like you didn't deserve the closure that you were seeking. And now that you gave that to yourself and you're finding happiness within yourself and you're getting back to your self-confident nature and you're proud of yourself and you're like starting to you know reap what you sow and they're kind of like stuck like in the same negative mindset that you were once in and they're definitely getting their karma i mean i don't want to say like it's their fault that you went through this because it's a whole bunch of underlying, you know, deep seated traumas and subconscious behavior that contributes to this. But they also, I feel like took advantage of you because of your insecurities. And now that you don't need them anymore, they're starting to get a dose of their own medicine. So let's get you some click or, uh, advice for the next week and see where you should be directing your energy. Final advice for Leo for May 16th. That was quick. Ooh, I don't think I've ever seen this, but I like it. So it's card 52, which is a seven, which is getting on your path. 
following your destiny. So this is direction, purpose, objectives, taking a first step. If one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Purpose and direction, goals and plans for the future, without these our life would be stagnant and have little meaning. Have something to aim for, to achieve, to look forward to, no matter how small is the, di is the difference between, day between a day-to-day -day existence and living a fuller life. Reading, learning, seeing, experiencing something new, and setting goals is a journey to tomorrow. Even the longest journey starts with one step. Consider the reasons why, the options, the chosen direction, and let your jo journey begin. So I saw a quote. I believe it was on Facebook. Um, it was like a week ago, so I doubt I'm going to say it correctly, but it was along the lines of... Um, dreams a dream with a date is a goal a goal with a plan is i don't know it was something along those lines it was just like all your dreams can come true if you start like setting dates if you start like you know making progress towards them if you start working towards them they'll become a reality eventually but you have to put in the work so I feel like that's kind of what this card's saying, like, um, your dreams don't have to just be dreams, they can be a reality if you start making the plans and taking steps towards them. 